Hello friends, welcome to edupediaworld.com. This is Vomika Soni and today I will tell you about genetics. Before giving a brief introduction to genetics, let me tell you about the chapters that I have covered in my previous video lectures. First of all, I gave a brief introduction to cell. Then, in my next video lecture, I told about gene, DNA and chromosome. Then, in my next lecture, I gave a description about cell cycle and cell division. Also, the stages of mitosis were described and little bit about meiosis was discussed. In my previous video lecture, I told the significance of mitosis and meiosis and difference between them. In this video lecture, I will tell you about genetics. I will give a brief introduction to genetics. Hope you will enjoy this video lecture. So let's begin. The cool breeze touched Mr. Pandu's legs. He was waiting outside a hospital. His pregnant wife was about to deliver their first child. His relatives were eager to welcome the child to the world. When the child was delivered, they were very happy. But no one was surprised. How did they know that the human baby is coming? Why didn't they expect a lion or a mango tree? Ever since the human started thinking about life, he was always puzzled that how seeds of mango tree, how each organism is unique yet reproduces a similar organism. Reproductive processes give rise to new individuals that are similar but subtly different. Some amount of variations are also produced even during asexual reproduction. If we observe the field of sugarcane, we find very little variations among the individual plants. But in a number of animals including human beings which reproduce sexually, quite distinct variations are visible among different individuals. Inheritance from the previous generation provides both a common basic body and subtle changes in it for the next generation. The original organism at the top will give rise to um, say two individuals similar in body design but with subtle differences. Each of them in turn will give rise to two individuals in the next generation. Each of the four individuals in the bottom row will be different from each other. While some of these differences will be unique, 
others will be inherited from their respective parents who were different from each other. For example, if one bacterium divides and then resultant two bacteria divide again, the four individual bacteria generated would be very similar. There would be only very minor differences between them. These differences are generated due to minor inaccuracies in the DNA copying. Father of Genetics Gregor Johann Mendel Way back in 1850, a priest Gregor Mendel was interested in plant breeding. He maintained a pea plant farm in his backyard. He observed some peculiar characteristics in pea plant and noted them down. He also did some controlled experiments just by curiosity. The observations and explanations he gave were the groundbreaking in the field of biology. It was the baby step in the world of genetics. Mendel was educated in a monastery and went to study science and mathematics at the University of Vienna. Failure in the examination for teaching certificate did not suppress his zeal for scientific quest. He went back to his monastery and started growing peas. Many others had studied the inheritance of traits in peas and other organism, but Mendel blended his knowledge of science and mathematics and arrived the laws of inheritance. While Mendel's search was with plants, the basic underlying principles of heredity that he discovered also apply to people and other animals. Because the mechanism of heredity are essentially the same for all complex life forms. Mendel did not get any recognition in his lifetime, but his interest of genetics remained alive. He died in the year 1884 with a kidney disorder. Later, three scientists named Diveris, Corius, and Shermark in the year 1900 independently rediscovered Mendel's work. W. Batson first coined the word genetics. Mendel was not the first one to conduct hybridization experiments. Among the workers who performed hybridization experiments before Mendel conducted his hybridization experiment on P, the most important name is of J. Karl Reuter, a German botanist. He performed hybridization technique in tobacco. Observations similar to Karl Reuter were made in the last century by many workers like Gartner, Northern and Darwin. Applications of Genetics Today, the study of genetics 
has advanced a great deal. It has opened up new avenues for its application in animals, plants and even humans. Genetic engineering is the latest branch of scientific study which has started yielding results in which genetic constitution of an organism is altered by introducing new genes into its chromosomes. Insulin producing gene of mammals has been successfully introduced in certain bacteria which have been made to produce it. Genetic counseling is yet another practical aspect. Newly married couples are advised to consult a specialist regarding the possibility of any undesirable trait which their children might inherit. Here I end the today's video lecture. Hope you have understood the concept that was discussed in genetics. In my upcoming video lecture, I will explain the laws of inheritance given by Mendel. Till then, thank you and have a nice day.